The 26th of January will be polling day for a by-election held in the single-seat constituency of Pungol East if the seat is contested. Nomination day is on the 16th of January at North Vista Secondary School. The president issued the writ of election today. An election buzz has been surrounding the northeastern part of Singapore in recent weeks, and speculation has been rife over if and when a by election would be called in Pongal East. Shortly after the writ of election was issued, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung released a statement explaining his decision to hold a by election in the single member constituency. Following the resignation of former MP Michael Palmer, Mr Lee said his first priority was to look after the residents of Pongal East. He said Deputy Prime Minister Tiu Chi Hien has also taken a personal interest in the residents' welfare. Explaining how the national agenda will be a busy one with the White Paper on Population, Budget 2013 and the ongoing Singapore conversation, the Prime Minister said after the by-election, the country could then focus back on these national issues. Mr Lee said he wanted to give residents their own MP in Parliament and he hopes Pongal East residents will vote for the candidate who can best represent them in Parliament, solve their problems and improve their lives. The Pongal East seat fell vacant last month when former MP Michael Palmer vacated the seat after admitting to an extramarital affair. Mr Palmer was also the Speaker of Parliament. Minister of State for Trade and Industry and Mayor for North East CDC Teo Salak has been overseeing the constituency while Mr Zainal Sapari has been chairing the Pasiris Pongol Town Council. This will be the country's second by-election following the general election in 2011. Analysts describe the Prime Minister's call for a by-election in Pongol East as speedy. In this particular instance, I don't think the Prime Minister wants to be accused of uh, hampering uh, opposition ambition to want to take uh, the seat at uh, Mongol East. So I think it's uh, made it call for my election as soon as he could uh, possibly can. And other observers we spoke to expect the People's Action Party to field a new candidate given the party's commitment to reform and renewal. As for the opposition parties, several of them have earlier indicated their interest in the by-election. How are they going to avoid a multi-con fight, you know, which will essentially be advantageous uh, to the People's Action Party? So I think in the next six days, you know, we're going to see a lot of posturing, um, a lot of behind-the-scenes negotiations that will add to the overall excitement. And for more analysis of this issue with Assistant Professor Eugene Tan, do catch Singapore Tonight on our sister network, Channel News Asia, at 10 p.m. Well, meanwhile, most residents in Pongol East said it was timely to conduct the by-election this month. Many also said they were concerned about issues affecting their everyday lives. Access, uh, like the River Plaza took a while to the issues. Uh, other than that, I think more amenities. Some area, they don't have the shelter for we go to the MRT station or bus station. Right? So when heavy rain, uh, those who bring children, whatever, is, they got no the proper play to go. Uh. Everyone, they run away, so quite dangerous. Uh. Back in 2011, residents in Pungo East SMC had a choice between three political parties. Our reporter with a look back. The Pongo East single-member constituency had over 30,000 voters in the 2011 general election. It was the only constituency that saw a three-cornered fight. Then, the People's Action Party's Michael Palmer, the Workers' Party's Li Li Lian, and the Singapore Democratic Alliance's Desmond Lim campaigned for residents' hearts and minds. The three focused largely on ground concerns during the hustings. Mr Lim promised new facilities of over a million dollars for residents if he won. It was something Mr Palmer cast doubt on. He was the ward's incumbent, elected in 2006 when the area was still under Pasiris Pongol Group representation constituency before it was carved out as a single seat. Mr Palmer had said his time in the ward was used to build cohesion among residents and hoped for continuing support. Ms Lee, on the other hand, chose to look at a state cleanliness and cost of living issues. When the dust settled, Mr Palmer won. 
taking around 55% of votes. Miss Lee took about 41% and Mr Lim got around 